Hello children. Today we're out here in this beautiful Florida scrub habitat in search for robber flies. Now robber flies are this entire family, family Acillidae, of these really weird flies. And they're covered in bristles. They have huge eyes, this sharp pointy proboscis, and long legs. And they are extremely good predators and most robber fly species can be found in these scrub habitats and they'll eat things like dragonflies, bees, they could even eat insects like big grasshoppers that are even bigger than themselves. So let's see all different kinds of species of Acillidae that we could find out in this beautiful habitat. This right here is an adorable Amatius floridensis, one of the cutest robber flies ever. And uh, this is a male so you can see the cerci shape is very distinctive for this species. There's little appendages at the end of the abdomen. There's a little spike at the bottom, as you can see right there. No other species in range has that. Uh, some other things that you could use as well, Amadeus floridensis tends to have a very distinct border between the orange and black areas on the legs, as well as lacking any distinct hairs on the scutellum. Now on flies, the scutellum is that little bump right there. That grayish bump right in the middle of the back end of the thorax, as you can see there. There's no big hairs on it. So, yeah, pretty distinctive species. It's by far the most common Amadeus here. It's actually the only species I've been able to confirm seeing. Although there is one sighting I have where I believe it was an Amadeus Gemma, but there is no way to confirm it, so I'm gonna release him. This right here is my lifer, Afaria apicalis. Now this is a male, you could tell it's a male because he has a large genital bulb. Males of this genus are much easier to identify than females are, but still really difficult, sometimes. Check this out. This male Proctocanthus fulventris, big robber fly, is eating this uh, sweat bee right here. Now, I normally see robber flies eating bees. It's probably, probably their favorite food. I've seen them eat a lot of different kinds of insects, even insects that are larger than them, like some grasshoppers and dragonflies, but man, this is actually letting me get in pretty close to it, and it's just eating away at this sweat bee. Really interesting. All right, this right here is my lifer. Proctocanthus brevipennis. Now, this is a species that is not very common in South Florida. In fact, it is heavily outnumbered in South Florida by the much more common Proctocanthus fulviventris. As you can see here, there's like no orange on it whatsoever. The uh, tibiae, or the middle of each leg, is kind of a dull dark red and the femora also have some red on them uh, this is a male and you can see his abdomen is completely like a white kind of creamy color which is distinctive for the species in males females aren't like this also the top of the abdomen you can tell he's pretty fresh because you can see some reddish iridescence on the top of the abdomen right there also pretty distinct for Proctocanthus brevipennis. I am extremely happy to finally be getting this species. It is an incredible species. From one of the largest robber flies here to one of the smallest, this is Megaphorus minutus. As with most robber fly genera, Megaphorus is a pretty hard genus to identify. It's a species level. However, Megaphorus is an easy genus to recognize because their very slow flyers are very small and very fluffy. And often let me get quite close and get really detailed images of them. However, identifying Megaphorus to species requires very close looks at the colors of some of the hairs as well as the size. At an in-hand view, you can clearly see that the hairs on the top of the abdomen are black. This leaves only two species, Megaphorus minutus and Megaphorus lafroides. A good judgment in the field between these two species is looking at the colors of the hairs on the hind tibiae, 
or the middle part of the back legs. On this one, those hairs are black, which is consistent with Megaphorus minutus. However, an even better way to tell the difference between the two species is length. Minutus is much smaller than Lafroides. I measured this individual, as well as one other one I caught, to exactly 10 millimeters, confirming Minutus. This robber fly right here is Polacantha gracilis, which is a species I don't see too often, and this was my first time seeing one this year. They're overall uniformly pale tan in color, with a black stripe running down the center of the top of the thorax, and entirely orange legs, as well as big buggy eyes, with no better way to describe them. These traits combined make Polacantha gracilis a pretty easy species to identify, at least in Florida. I tend to see these in less dry habitats than other robber flies, and this one was in a much greener, grassier area than the rest.